What's up? I just want to give you a quick heads up. When I'm talking in this clip, my voice is distorted, so I want to make sure you're able to adjust the volume for your ears or whatever, make sure they don't hurt. But the conversation is too good for you not to hear it, so we went ahead and made the clip anyway. This is from episode four of No Labels Necessary. The future episodes are just fine audio-wise. Check this out. The information is too good to miss. All right, but check this out, too. I want to talk about this pre-release marketing matter anymore before that because we talk about rollouts billy mcfarlane you remember who this is no fire festival the guy that started yeah the, oh, the, the crazy dude oh he out oh shit yeah he out and he and he just as bold as before i mean he looked healthy man like he did a hard sentence hey <laughs> <laughs> like it was sweet enough bro like. hey man yeah yeah it was, it was, it was it, <laughs> let me just play as it. you might know i effed oh, around man. And because of that, I definitely found out. Obviously, I've had a little bit too much time to think about this, but I do feel like the moment's right to start making this up to everybody. You might have guessed, but I'm working on something new. This time, it's a little crazier, but a whole lot bigger than anything I've ever tried before. I promise I'm going to tell you everything in November. But before we get there, there's one thing you need to know now. This time, everything. So what he says is this time, everything is free. All right. And they cut it off here, I think, because he actually got banned on, not banned on TikTok. They, they banned that specific post though. Mm -hmm. They took it down and he had to cut the end off or cover it up. So he says, this guy, hey, bro, he, he killing it. No, he, he's, he, he's definitely fine, man. Everything <laughs> is free. So he takes the the piece of paper off the board and there's a phone number there. Oh. Yeah, yeah. And you know, TikTok don't like phone numbers. Yeah. So I don't even think it was a Billy McFarlane thing specific because we know you're a scammer type dude. It's like, yeah, we know, you know we don't like links and bios, phone yeah. numbers and all that stuff. So- Trying to push these minors off the platform. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. But yes, man, this dude is fresh out First day out, coming out, <laughs> coming in is like, yo, I'm back. Let me play this beginning because I, we were talking. At, <laughs> it's it's funny, bro. Really. Hey guys, it's Billy McFarland. Yeah, As you might know, I effed around, and because of that, I definitely found out. That's actually my least favorite part of the whole video. It is my least favorite part <laughs> of the video, but again, it's the culturally aware yeah. that he plays on constantly. Yeah. And I wonder if he's still messing with the fuck Jerry people. I well, doubt it. I, I feel like I don't maybe. know. Yeah, that's a mm. that's a that's a slippery slope. Should we be getting back together because of how things went down? But at the same time, I don't know. They were kind of in cahoots, so it's like I could see them still being cool. And even if he doesn't, he today he's probably going to transition to TikTokers. One hundred percent. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So it's like they don't if they fuck with him, they'd be perfect. If they don't, he's probably like, well, it's a whole new marketplace yeah. over here. Yeah. Let me go hop on these these uh I can't think they use I can't think of their name. The, the two girls, the sisters. Uh, the Demilios, yeah. Let me go hop on these Demilios. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Give them some ultra VIPs and get them out. <laughs> Yo, I I one hundred percent can uh Yeah. I can see this thing becoming something. I don't know what he's gonna do because he but he said it's free. I wonder is if it's complete misdirection. He's gonna drop it in November, he says. So we'll we'll wait and see. But I just had to I <laughs> just show you this because I came across it and I was like, yo, that's this guy is one, this dude crazy. <laughs> <laughs> just like when you watch the fire step festival, it's like, dang, this dude just he keeps going. He keeps he messes up and he just keeps like, yo, I'm a finesse it somehow. So I was like, no, it's not gonna happen. Like the the funny, I think this is a Netflix version when they were at the this is like maybe 10 minutes into the dock. If it's not 10, it's it's very close to the beginning. And dudes like Yo, man, like everybody's gonna have to go out to boats. We don't have enough plumbing for this to work. There's like a legit like architect dude or mm -hmm. whatever, um, or whatever, you know, infrastructural type dude giving him advice. There's no way you're gonna be able to do this on this particular island. There's not enough plumbing for bathrooms. Oh, yeah, da, 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 da. If you wanna do this, at best, you're gonna have to send people out to a cruise ship at night. And then it's like the next scene. So. That guy's gone. <laughs> but they, they fired the only dude who's making sense. I was like, this shit about to go downhill. And that's like, this is the beginning. 
That was that was that was classic, man. Did that come out during the pandemic? I think so. Man, pandemic. Yeah, that happened right before the pandemic, right? Like yeah. literally the summer right before, right? Hey, let's let's see real quick, man. I, it was some good content during the pandemic, man. They had a, <laughs> <laughs> they had our uh our attention for real. That might have been it might have been 2019. Yep, 2019. Oh, yeah. So it was yeah. before the pandemic. Yeah. Right before Oh man, but it was definitely some good content during the pandemic. That was that was the the, the, the preamble for it. We'll say that. It's just crazy, bro, because I feel like most scammers that try to come back, they usually hop into other industries. Like, uh, oh, I've kind of burned my bridge over there. Let me go yeah, you no know, fuck around with something over here. He was right. like, Nah, like I'm I i can get it this time. Like but, this time I got it. This is why I think we're in this slippery slippery slope era today, though. No matter what happens, you can flip it. Yeah. Like be entertaining enough. It's, people just want to be entertained. You can scam the world, and now people want to know how you get scammed the world. Yeah. And now they know, oh, you're good enough at marketing at least, right? It's no difference than, oh, snap, you just hacked this government. Well, shoot, we need to hire this dude because he know how to hack. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Or, yo, you just finessed some, you know, middle class folks on Wall Street with your pink stocks. Was it pink? What am I? Some. What do you call the? It's not the stock market. It's the pink whatever it's, it's the lower <laughs> stocks like the ones that are less than a dollar but oh the penny stocks they found penny stocks penny stocks mm-hmm. maybe i don't know why i'm thinking the word pink it's relevant somehow but yeah. that's besides the point the wolf of wall street you know what i'm saying yeah he was doing that now oh yeah i want to learn your sales system yeah because obviously you can get at kind people i just want to learn the skill set to con people but not because i'm morally good right yeah, yeah. It, or we just want to share your story, hear you speak, because you're an interesting character. No matter what happens, if you get, if you fail at a high enough level, you can flip it today. Yeah, that's a good, that's a great point. That's the market <laughs> we are. So if you fail, you fail big, dog. You're not gonna fall, you know, too far. You're already high up. <laughs> that's the fact, bro. I saw. <laughs> that's how I thought when I was leaving college, dog. I was like. I didn't want to go get some of these jobs because I was like, yo, if I, because I was in a startup world, I was like, bro, if you do a startup, you start something and you get that going far enough, you can get to like CEO or, or the C suite faster, right? Mm. And then once you're there and you do something legitimate that's big enough, you're going to stay there. People are going to want you to be a part of their suite, even if you're like not the CEO. It's like, oh, well, we, we want you on our executive team because you master some skill at a high level and you've built this thing yeah. versus going the ladder way up which just wasn't my way within yeah. corporate. That, that just didn't, you know, it didn't speak to my soul. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, like, that's literally what it is. It's like you get to skip steps by going to outside and doing something big enough on the outside where if you do have to be a part of a traditional corporation or anything like that, hey, uh, you can you start at a different spot and you skip levels and people are like, yo, man, this person wasn't X out. It's like, hey, man, hey, look. You should you should have taken that risk. <laughs> you should have taken that risk. You you hate that I took the risk and I did some good things. And now look, I failed into where you wanted to be. <laughs> yeah. So you got a degree, I got results. I, hey, <laughs> results, baby. It's just like um, what's his name? We work. Oh uh, yeah. I don't know that guy's name, but we work ended up being the way he went went about it was like a very scam cult type behavior. And now he's running some other billion dollar company. Hey, I ain't know it started like that. Oh man, yeah, bro, you gotta watch the WeWork doc. They got a doc. Yes, I doc. know. We have, to, but we gonna start recommending docs and movies and shit. Rather, the WeWork doc. Why, I swear to God, dog, you'll be like, yo, this is crazy. <laughs> like he was doing it like a cult, and I, I was gonna apply for WeWork at one point in time. Yeah, and one of the requirements was you had to be willing to go to. This festival, they basically had their own Tomorrow World Festival, right? Or Fire Festival, whatever you want to call it. They had that type of festival that they did once a year for all their employees. And it was the a music, was like a music festival. Yes. Oh, okay. It was like lit, like out in the woods somewhere. The music, the mu- like the, the, the a full blown festival, on par with any of the festivals that you would see. That was a part of it, and I was like. Nah, <laughs> I was like, y'all gonna grab me to do some like something like that. I was like, nah, that ain't for me. you know. See what I learned when I was doing traditional work for ter- certain types of environments. What I learned was their version of fun was not mine. So when people <laughs> be like, work hard, play hard, yeah, I was like, work hard, work hard again. 
That's what it was for me. <laughs> and like, I wasn't a big beer guy, like when I was in the, like the sales and stuff like that. And they were, you know, yeah, we had some beers. And I'm like, ah, man, bro, y'all. And I, this was Henny. This would be fun for me. I'm going to go play ping pong, but it's not that fun. I want some beer. And, but if I pull out the Henny, y'all be looking at me crazy. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> so it was like that. I just wasn't down for it. And I was like, y'all going to take me away from the shit that I'm trying to build for myself. But, but yeah, now that. Watch the doc, bro, I swear. Watch the WeWork doc. And another thing that I've been wanting to watch just because of what we do, it doesn't. I haven't seen anything that makes it seem like it's interesting. So don't don't watch this anybody <laughs> and tell me it's bad. I'm just saying I saw it and I keep saying I'm going to check it out. I'll let y'all know if I think it's good. But there's a, a documentary on Spotify. You seen that one? Yeah. Well, I haven't seen it yet, but I did see it. Came yeah, out, yeah. It's like called The Playlist or something. Yeah. Like, I'm going to check it out. It doesn't look good, honestly. I haven't seen anything that told me it looked good yet. Yeah. But... <laughs> You know, obviously, what we do, I'm gonna check it out and see what's up. And then see if some sauce good drop. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I doubt it's gonna be sauce, but maybe it's gonna be something interesting. I really just want to see them. I hope they talk about the whole like fake artist playlist thing that we're doing. Probably still. So. Yeah, I hope they talk about that. I That's hope all so. I hope. I'm gonna watch it too. I'm gonna check it out. It's not a doc though, right? It's like maybe a movie. I think it might be a, more of a movie than a doc. Mm. So you know, reenactments. But you know what? We'll we'll make that a homework. We'll watch it and then. Talk about that one day. I bet. Yeah, we, I'm with. we put that in there with Intergalactic, bro. You, that's you. I got I already seen it. Is that on Netflix too? Oh, it is on Netflix. Yeah, yeah. it's on Netflix. Oh, yeah. You got two things. You got Intergalactic. You got we no, work. You got three. We yeah. got, the we work isn't necessarily, but we should talk about it because the marketing is crazy. Yeah, it's a lot of cult marketing, basically. The playlists, and it's not out yet. But when it comes out, the uh, the, the Riri show, you got to support Bad Girl Riri. You need to watch her other two shows, bro. Or has she done threes before? If y'all have not, bro, if y'all consider y'all self creative, if you think you're a creative, bro, one, you ain't gonna, you aren't gonna be like turned off by somebody else's drama. You can respect that a woman is doing something creative because I know some of y'all do artists be like, I ain't gonna watch no girl shit or whatever. But um, or it's that genre, I don't listen to Riri's music. Dog, her fashion shows are amazing. Yeah, crazy, 100%. amazing. Yeah, and. Have you so you have you seen one through three? No, bruh. <laughs> what the hell, are you talking about that? I've seen like <laughs> you clips. Mean, you seen clips? Yeah, bro. You gotta see this shit, bro. You gotta see. You gotta see. Her shit is like for real, creatively amazing. It can inspire you for how you do your shows, even if it's something you want to do in a music video. Like truly, it's a it's a real production, bro. Right. That, that's on production. Netflix too. That's Amazon. Amazon. It's a whole nother out. Yeah. The beauty <laughs> of it, though, is they use like that to deal with that to also inform like sales on Amazon. It's a whole thing, right? So we're using the content to drive Amazon sales. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Like they're using data like crazy. So her her deal with them is pretty dope. We, we'll probably go deeper into that when we talk about that. So I getting off subject, though, you know, let's, let's, let's go to the next the next topic. Appreciate you watching. Fun fact, every time you soak up one of these gems, you get a little bit smarter from these clips. So if you want to be a gem seeker, collect all the gems, keep watching. I'll see you in the next clip.